Hello everybody, Raven Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of How to Build, which is the series where I go through all of my creative for honor characters and tell you what to do to make them yourself, like what outfit do I use, what weapon set do I use, what designs, what emotes, what executions, all that fun stuff. We've gone through quite a few so far, and you guys really seem to like these, so I decided I'd keep them going. After the success of the Apollyon one, I've had a few people tell me that they want to see me do some of the story characters, and I'd be glad to do that. I'm going to experiment a little bit and see if I can't find a way to make them a little bit quickly for you guys. But until we get there, I thought I'd do my most recent story character, Ingrid, the Heaven Spear, as it were. I was, uh, I'll be honest, not very proud of the story. Um, it wasn't bad by any means, otherwise I wouldn't have uploaded it, but I always felt like I could have done better. And I think that shows in the amount of responses it's gotten. If you go check out the video now, I think most of the comments have to do with people saying first, second, third, fourth, fifth, even sixth the comment. And I don't know, a part of me was kind of going, eh, if people are not that invested in the story, I don't know, it feels like it could have been lacking somewhere. And I've got some ideas on how to fix it, so in the future I may go back and fix her story, maybe edit it a little bit, or maybe make something totally different altogether. Um, I had wanted to do something kind of ambitious and try to do a crossover with Ruth, Timwa, and Ingrid, because people have been saying, hey, we'd love to see crossovers where your characters meet each other, and that was kind of something I wanted to do with Ingrid. I wanted her to interact with people outside of Valkenheim, because the idea I always had with Ingrid is that she's a warrior, but her duty doesn't fall to Valkenheim itself, it falls to justice itself. Almost like a, a, a vigilante superhero kind of person. She goes and she fights for honor, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the honor of Valkenheim that she fights for. And I thought, who's like that? Who else in my character list is like that? And I thought about Ruth and Timwa, and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if she met them and that kind of woke her up to her reason for fighting, her reason to fight and kill. And so that was kind of my goal, but I think I lost that somewhere in translation. But regardless of that, y'all want to know, how do you make her? How do you make Ingrid? At least I think you want to know that. Otherwise, why'd be, why would you be watching this video, right? <laughs> anyway, um, without further ado, let's talk about what you need to do to make her. It's actually really easy. So first of all, for the armor set, it's going to be all the same armor set. You're going to use Chimera Vis Mother Helm, Chimera Vis Mother Chest, and Chimera Vis Mother Arms. I like this set mostly because of the chest set. I like the chainmail over the breast like that. I think that that not only looks really good, but it's practical. It's a little bit, it's really fitting for the kind of protection that we're looking for. And it has a really good color palette. I like the way the silver of the ch of the chainmail meshes with the blue that we're gonna see in a little bit. I also like how it matches the helmet up here. I don't use any out, um, like paint patterns or anything for the helmet because the engraving, the design just looks too too good. I also like the um, two-headed eagle on the front, making it look almost like a Byzantium uh, emblem, which makes me think that she could be somehow related to the Varingians, which is kind of neat. So I really like this look. Um, so if you want to get your best armor look for, you want to go Chimera Vismadr Helm. Now, of course, the Chimera set for all the heroes basically is their default set only made a little bit nicer looking so if you don't have this yet you can use the default set if you want to but this is really where you want to aim this is what you want to get the back hair isn't the best i'll be honest but still it looks really really good from the front and i also like those bright blue eyes that looks really good too but anyway okay so now you want to know about the weapon also very simple you want tempest von Langder head tempest von Langder shaft and Tempest Van Ander Buckler. Now here's the thing about these. You could only get these from the Tempest Season Battle Pass. So if you did not play the game during that Battle Pass and did not get these weapon sets, you're probably out of luck. But if you want an alternative, you can use the Fabled Fall Buckler, which is a good fallback for the shield, and just about anything for the shaft. I usually use the Fabled Fall Shaft, which looks really good and woven. And if you want a good, uh, head with it. The other good head would be Janoff head. Those would be good fallbacks. Um, but for the Tempest uh, for the Tempest set, that's the best that you want to go for. It looks bejeweled. It looks fancy. It um, looks almost heavenly, I'd say. It looks almost like she came from heaven with this, with this stuff, right? So that's why I really like this look. I think it makes her look really kick-ass. It makes her look very powerful, very ornate, which gives her a pleasant appearance. So that's why I chose this look. All right, let's move on. For traits, obviously default body type, but for skin color, I went with this default. Now, if you want to change it from this one, you can go with the second one or the first one. Um, it's, she is white. She is going to be more of the complexion of the Nordic people, of the Norse people, okay? So that, that is something that you're going to want to keep. 
I would go with this default one, but it's your choice in the end. I just wouldn't go with the more darker complexions because that's not what she is. Um, moving on, for the head, nothing. Like I said, you're not going to use anything. You're not going to use anything for the head. For the right shoulder, I used Spirited Flight 1 and Raven of the Slain 6. Both of those come from the same thing. They come from the Vengeful Valrafen Anima Outfit. You can get that from the Black Priors Repost Bundle or by purchasing the outfit. Um, all of the factions, with the exception of the Outlanders, got a unique bird outfit. The Knights got an eagle, the Vikings got a raven, the Samurai got an owl, and the Wulin got a phoenix. You want the outfit that gives the raven for Valkyrie. So that's what you want to get these two. The Raven of the Slain 6 and Spirited Flight 1. That's what you want for her shoulder. For the chest and back, you want Celtic Weave 3, which requires you to complete the Viking story of the uh, main story quest on easy mode, which should be pretty simple. I've beaten it on every story mode, but the easy mode gives you Celtic Weave 3, which actually looks really good for this. And then for the embossing, we're going to have the Vengeful Valrafen embossing, which also comes from the Vengeful Valrafen anima outfit. So definitely want to go with that. You want that embossing on the front because it's also going to look really cool on the back. And as you can see, the Celtic Weave kind of has this really cool pattern to it that I think just works very well. It's simple, but it is very effective. For the right arm, nothing. It just looks fine the way it is. The tattoos going down the arm here look just fine, so you probably don't need anything. If you really wanted to add something, maybe you could add the spider, which is unlocked at uh, Reputation 14, but really you don't need anything. And then for the left arm, nothing, because that's going to ruin your shield. Your shield, I want, your shield needs to look, like, look, this is what happens if you put paint on it. Doesn't that ruin it now? Doesn't that look so much worse now? No, 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 leave it as is. That, that color palette looks fantastic. Leave it alone. Don't put anything on it, you know? So, yeah. So, leave it like that. It looks fine the way it is. Okay? For the ornament, I use the short recurved, which is a default one, very easily gotten. I think, it's, I think it comes standard. So, that's an easy one to get. It looks very simple. But if you want to go for another one, some other alternatives are the jeweled horn, which I think looks really good. You could definitely go with the jeweled horn. You could go with the demon's gaze, which is sick. It just looks really awesome. Or you could go with Lot's plumage, which comes from the Lot's clan elite outfit. So all of those would work fine, but really eh, this one's the standard and it looks really good with it. Yes, I know. Vikings did not have horns on their helmets. That is a myth that is made up. I know. I'm very well aware of that. But still, I think it looks really cool here. All right. So for material, you want tar. The reason why is because if you will look at her belt and the sash around her waist right there, look at the way it kind of glistens, like light is reflecting off of it. See how it changes when you go to just black? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look as good, does it? It looks kind of stale, but if we go back to tar, that looks shiny. That looks very polished. I really like that polished look. So you definitely want to go with the polished look for uh, our character. You want to make her look very clean, very nice, because she cares about cleanliness. Believe it or not, Vikings did care about cleanliness. That's a, that's a common misconception that they were just dirty, filthy uh, mud divers. You know, they, they were not. They cared about cleanliness. So, and then finally for the colors, the big one, I always end with this one whenever talking about their fashion. You want the Descent Echo, which, guess where it came from? Vengeful Valrafen Anima Outfit. So if you really want to make her look good, you want the Valrafen Anima Outfit. So definitely invest in that if you can. You can find it in Outfits under Illustrious, and it should be... Yep, it's this one right here. You'll see a little raven floating beside you. You don't need that... Um, effect you don't need that effect for i mean it is cool you can definitely use it for if you like to but i'll show you some other effects that i used for that'll look just as good if not better but that's definitely one you want to get yeah so easily purchased i would definitely look into that if you want to make her all right now let's go into her abilities we'll start with the feats I use Bounty Hunter for her first feat because the way I look at her character, she is a very strong, passionate warrior. She's going to seek out her opponents and hunt them down because that's just her mentality. She feels like if she slays her enemy on the battlefield, it brings honor to her family and to her name and to her people. So she's going to pursue her opponents viciously. So Bounty Hunter worked there. Bloodlust goes along with that as well. Killing heroes grants temporary attack and defense boots. So as she kills, as she takes down her opponents, she continues to get stronger and stronger and more impassioned she never tires she's ready to keep going i use javelin for the third feet 
because I feel like if she has an opponent running away, she wouldn't be afraid to throw her uh, javelin after them. Plus, it's just an all-around good feat for a Valkyrie to have. And then finally, I used Fire Flash for her fourth feat, mostly because it's a really good feat, genuinely. I just feel like it fits really well. Plus, the other two just... Uh, they don't quite work as well. I guess Scout could work. It, it could work. Um, all enemies are marked for death and show up on radar. I guess you could say that's a good one because it, it works for her like being a Scout, hunting down her opponents. But at the same time, Fire Flask allows her to end the battle more quickly. And so I, I feel like that fits just as well. So I use Fire Flash for her. Next up, for executions, I use Shield Trip. Because she wants to get in that fight over with quickly and just take out her opponent. I use Judgment Call. Because it goes along with her being the Spear of Heaven. She's going to judge you for how you've acted. And that's a pretty cruel way to judge someone. I go with Plant Your Flag. Because, again, it's very quick. And very, and it also goes along with uh, what she did to finish off uh, Heinrich in her story. Where she leg swept him and then plunged her spear into his chest. So that goes along with her story. And I go with Skewer Let On. This is a little bit of a longer one. But it also shows her anger. It shows her brutality. And it shows like her just raw strength which she has in abundance she's not a weakling she is very strong so i thought this would work very well you want to avoid executions that show her kind of being braggadocious like uh through and through i don't use this one because uh, notice how she acts she kind of walks up and kind of gloats for a second she's not the kind of person who wants to gloat she's the kind of person who wants to uh get things over with and punish you for what you've done Harpooned also could work, but the problem with it is it feels a little bit more sadistic, which probably doesn't fit her quite as well. I mean, you could do it, but um, it's a little bit too sadistic for who she is, so I don't really run that. You want to go with very honorable execution. She's basically a warden in a Valkyrie body. You know, She wants to be honorable, but she wants to kill those who have done wrong. All right, for emotes, I use not bad at all and spear twirl. And you see that there's an effect there. I'll talk about that effect in a minute. But I use not bad at all because it is a respectful salute and spear twirl to show that she is ready for combat. And then for free roam, I use feels good man and muscular biceps. Muscular biceps I like because I feel like she'd do that around her allies and around her friends because it's kind of like, yeah, I'm tough, I'm strong, I'm ready to fight. I felt like that would be a good one for her to use around others. Um, signatures, I use winner. Because again, around her fellows, around her friends, she wants to show her a little bit of her bravado. She wants to show, yeah, I fought, I won, I kicked ass. Um, I got glory for my family and for myself. I did good. I did this. So I, I felt like that would fit because, again, she doesn't want to brag. She doesn't want to show off, but she does want to acknowledge when she's done good. You know, like, I did a good thing. I did a good job, and I should acknowledge that. For the effects, you really don't need any, but there are two that you can use if you want to. The one I use is the new one that's out for this battle pass, Stardust Wings. Stardust Wings gives off this ethereal, very celestial look, making her look like an angel of heaven. Now, you could use Messenger's Wings if you want, which gives a similar look, but they're white this time, like an angel. You could use those too, because if you're going with the idea that she's some kind of angel or heaven's judge, using Messenger's Wings or Stardust Wings works just fine. I like Stardust Wings just a bit more, because even though I do see her as a heaven's judge, she is still technically a Viking, so she'd probably lean a little bit more towards the Norse gods, especially since she fights for them to go to Valhalla, and this looks a bit more like what that would need. Um, the other one you could use is um, the raven one, which I talked about earlier, which is Vengeful Valrafen, which summons a pet raven to her side, and that looks really, really cool too. Um, but again, the ones that you really want to use are probably the Stardust Wings, if you really want to use them, or the Messenger's Wings, because they are because they both look really solid. Um, I lean on Stardust Wings, but that's just me. You can use whichever wings you want, if you want to use them, because technically you don't even have to. Those are just optional. Uh, but anyway, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun talking about Ingrid. What did you guys think of her story? Let me know in the comments section. To, like, Did you think it was good or did was it just kind of so-so? Do I need to go back and rethink her story? Did you like the crossover bit? Like, Because I've got more crossover ideas in the future. And I'm thinking about doing something almost kind of Avengers Assemble themed. Like a lot of my heroes coming together to fight one massive problem. But... I don't know if I'll do that yet, especially if this didn't go over well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.